Please be seated. Good afternoon and welcome to San Diego State University and the investiture of our ninth president, Dr. Adela De La Torre. Today is a momentous day for our university. I'm Seth Malios, Professor of Anthropology and University History Curator, and it is my pleasure and privilege to serve as your MC and welcome you on behalf of SDSU's 36,000 students, 6,000 faculty and staff, and more than 400,000 alumni. In total, we are nearly half a million strong. <laughs> I'd like to begin by thanking our distinguished platform party for sharing this special day with us. I also want to individually recognize the following guests, but like we say at graduation, please save your applause until all the names have been announced. Starting with Chancellor of the California State University, Dr. Timothy White. Members, oh, I gotcha. <laughs> Members of the executive leadership, from the CSU Office of the Chancellor, including Executive Vice Chancellor and Chief Financial Officer, Mr. Steve Relier. Vice Chancellor of Human Resources, Ms. Evelyn Nazario. And University Counsel for SDSU, Ms. Catherine Valerio Barrett. Also, Chairman of the CSU Board of Trustees, Mr. Adam Day, who is also the Chief Administrative Officer for the Saquon Band of the Kumeyaay Nation. Members of the CSU Board of Trustees, Dr. Silas Abrego, Ms. Jean Fierstenberg, Ms. Emily Hinton, Dr. Jack McGrory, and Trustee Emeritus, Mr. Fred Pierce. Mr. John Perez, Vice Chair of the University of California Board of Regents, joins us today. We also welcome several presidents from other California State Universities, including Dr. Joseph Castro, CSU Fresno, Dr. William Covino, CSU Los Angeles, Dr. Karen Haynes, CSU San Marcos, Dr. Gail Hutchinson, CSU Chico, Dr. Ellen Jun, CSU Stanislaw, Dr. Tomas Morales, CSU San Bernardino, Dr. Mary Papazian, San Jose State University, Dr. Judy Sakaki, Sonoma State University. Mr. Fram Virji, CSU Fullerton. And Ms. Hillary Baker, Vice President for Information Technology and CIO, CSU Northridge. From our SDSU campus in Tbilisi, Georgia, Deputy Minister of Education, Science, Culture, and Sport, Ms. Irina Abulazi. Rector of Tbilisi State University, Dr. George Shavashidzi. Rector of Ilya State University, Dr. Giga Zedaniha. And our other esteemed Georgian guests sitting here on stage and in the audience. It is also my special pleasure to welcome SDSU President Emerita Sally Rausch. Lastly, <laughs> you can clap for Sally. <laughs> Clap for everybody. <laughs> Lastly, I'd like to welcome the members of our SDSU leadership team, which includes our vice presidents, deans, and members of the academic deans, council, and president's cabinet. We also welcome our associated students' executive officers from our campuses in San Diego, the Imperial Valley, and Georgia, as well as our new officers for the 2019 and 2020 academic year who are in the audience today. The complete list can be found in your program. And again, thank you all for joining us today. We are also honored to be joined by the following elected officials. Congressman Juan Vargas, County Supervisor Diane Jacob, 
County Tax Assessor Ernie Dronenberg, City of San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner, City of San Diego Council President Georgette Gomez, City of Chula Vista Mayor Mary Casillas Salas, City of Chula Vista Council Member Jill Galvez, City of Imperial Beach Council Member Mark West, City of Santee Vice Mayor Stephen Houlihan, Consulate General of the People's Republic of China Yu Zhengyun, Consul Mariana Villegas of the Consulate General of Mexico. We also want to recognize all the staff in attendance representing various elected officials. I would now like to acknowledge the processional participants here with us today. Many of you have traveled long distances to join us. We appreciate you being here. Participants include honorary doctorate recipients, former associated students executives, tribal representatives, SDSU faculty, and delegates from other colleges and universities. Our procession was led by Senate Chair Dr. Marcy Bober Michelle carrying the university's mace. Now, the mace was designed in 2016 by the, for the university by Michael Rabicki, an alum of the Master of Fine Arts Jewelry and Metalsmithing program. The iconic image of Hepner Hall was its main inspiration, and a stylized silhouette of the bell tower sits atop a silver bowl formed by the traditional skill of hand raising. It's a metal working method dating back thousands of years. The sleek curves of the tower resting on the hand hammered bowl represent the blending of SDSU's proud history with its forward facing scholarship, research, teaching, and community engagement. I'd also like to acknowledge the SDSU Symphony Orchestra. As the As the processional entered the arena, the orchestra performed Songs of Mexico conducted by Michael Girdis from our School of Music and Dance. Thank you for your beautiful music. You will hear from them again later this afternoon. I'd also like to acknowledge Sam Spiegelman for producing the amazing animated graphic you saw earlier. Sam is a lecturer of new media and post-production in our School of Theater, Television, and Film. Now, this afternoon, we enjoy a broad array of offerings from our SDSU students, faculty, staff, and community members. Their work is a celebration of who we are at SDSU. Here at State, we delight in our proud history. For example, this is the exact spot where U.S. President John F. Kennedy spoke at the 1963 San Diego State Commencement and received the very first CSU Honorary Doctorate. But we are equally passionate about the bright future ahead of us, led by President De La Torre. Today's inauguration is a unique ceremony. It is an investiture. Now, fear not, investiture has nothing to do with your 1099 W-2s or 401k. That's a joke that only works in mid-April. It's got a very narrow range. I'm, I'm glad you laughed. I was worried it was too soon. Yeah, stop there. Investiture is the formal public inauguration ceremony that grants authority to the new president. It is one of the oldest traditions in higher education, tracing its roots back centuries. The ceremony, designed to symbolize the pursuit of knowledge and the dignity of the academy, is an ornate celebratory affair. In fact, the vest in investiture refers to the Latin phrase for dress and robe. Accordingly, our event includes an elaborate procession of dignitaries in colorful academic regalia from a broad range of institutions. Investiture is a rite of passage, an important occasion that transitions all of us for new roles, new tasks, and new challenges. Today's ceremony has been carefully planned and includes many performative components. All of the creative elements were designed by our students and faculty in the arts. From the orchestra to the singers, the videographers, the medallion, ROTC, food design, our students are the center of this investiture in partnership with our faculty and staff. 
Even Viejas Arena is managed and owned by our students. While it may be tempting to dismiss such events as frivolous or non-essential, consider for a moment that the average term of San Diego State presidents who had formal public inauguration ceremony has been nearly twice that of those who did not. <laughs> Investiture is a key component for community building and an opportunity to make and to mark a new era for the institution. It is also the start of a president's legacy. It is never too soon to think about the impact of a new lead administrator and everyone's interdependent role in the success of the university. Greatness is up to all of us. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Harry Paul Cuero, Jr., Vice Chairman of the Campo Band of the Kumeyaay Nation. Dr. Cuero received his honorary doctorate from SDSU this past commencement, and we are honored to have him here with us today. Dr. Cuero will offer an opening prayer welcoming us to the traditional Kumeyaay lands that are shared by our university. Dr. Cuero? Uh, good, after, good afternoon, and um, I'd like to ask um, my ha to look down upon Ms. Del Torre and give her the wisdom and the strength that she'll need to take on this task that she's about to take on. And we ask you to give her those blessings and see and prepare her for those for that road and that journey that's going to come along the way with its ups and its downs and today I'm going to sing a song that talks about those times when it gets hard and when even when times get hard this song is talking about you got to keep always keep moving forward and that's what this song is is to inspire her even at those times when times will seem kind of hard just Keep your eye on in front of you and keep moving and you'll move us, this community and this school all together. We'll move together as a, we'll be uh, good for all of us. people to Ms. Delatory. Good luck. Thank you for welcoming us today, Dr. Quero. I would now like to introduce the Reverend William Zondler, who is the associate pastor of Mission Basilica San Diego del Alcala. Reverend Zondler will provide the invocation to begin our program. What an amazing day for all of us, and especially for the city of San Diego. It is an honor 
President De La Torre, to have been invited to give this invocation, not only asking for blessings upon her and the San Diego State University community, but simply to be here at this historical investiture, at this special moment for America's finest city, it is truly an honor, and an honor to follow that beautiful kumiai blessing. President De La Torre, a heartfelt congratulations to you on your investiture, and the honor of not only being the ninth permanent president of San Diego State University, but most especially for being the first woman to do so. In all our lives, it is difficult to do something that we have never seen modeled for us. There is something within us that needs to see someone do something courageous, to do something beautiful, to do something that gives life to others powerfully, in order for us to in turn do those very things. What an inspiration you are to so many. I have no doubt there are many who feel it a little bit easier to move forward boldly by your example. San Diego State University means so much to so many in the local community. Even people who never attended SDSU feel a connection with the university. It truly holds a special place in the identity of San Diego. As a born and raised San Diegan myself, I have fond memories as a child growing up, coming to Aztec football games, running around the concourse in my Az Zahir Hakim number one jersey t-shirt. <laughs> Having a special place in the hearts of the local community gives the entire university family, and especially the students, a unique opportunity to be able to make a difference in our community. After all, the mission of SDSU strives to focus beyond the classroom, beyond head knowledge, to make a difference in people's lives, to not be afraid to reach out and help those in need around us and in our communities. Today, now, is an opportunity for all of us to begin again, to take this moment to recollect ourselves, to pause and remember who we are, to recognize that tug we have in our hearts, that pull that we can begin to recognize within us that compels us to help others, to lift each other up. May President De La Torre be blessed with an increase of wisdom and inspiration as she embarks upon her office as president May the God of all creation and all peoples, who is love itself, deepen her love for those she is called to serve. May she courageously continue to be a model for all the students of how to live a life boldly and compassionately. We ask for blessings upon the staff, student body, and the entire family of San Diego State University. May we strive to be models to others of a compassion in the midst of our daily lives that is not afraid to reach out to our neighbor, to help those in need, to lift the burdens of the suffering. May we never lose sight of those around us in the midst of our work and studies. May we ask for a fresh outpouring of peace upon our community that we may learn from our differences and joyfully collaborate together, utilizing the multitude of gifts that come from diversity. We ask for all these things and for the fulfillment of those unspoken desires in our hearts. We thank and praise you, God of creation and of all peoples, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Zondler. 
I now ask that you please rise as the joint ROTC color guard presents the colors and please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem by our performance undergraduates and students from the Masters of Fine Arts and Musical Theater program. The group is conducted by Michael Gerdes from the School of Music and Dance and will be accompanied by the SDSU Symphony Orchestra. It is fitting at this time to pay tribute to the San Diego State students who have put their education on hold in order to serve in the U.S. Armed Forces. Now, San Diego State has been inclusive of the military from its inception and has never wavered. We have three standing campus memorials, Hardy Memorial Tower, the Freedom Tree at Scripps Cottage, and the War Memorial. We honor the thousands, yes, thousands, of San Diego State students faculty and staff, past and present, who are affiliated with the military. We also want to thank the veterans who are here today for their service to our nation. We appreciate your sacrifice. Would you all please stand and be recognized? <laughs> You're already standing. <laughs> Thank you. And I've now learned the please be seated line is important. 
let's just start from the top. Just <laughs> Now I have the pleasure of introducing a special video that was produced by SDSU's Instructional Technology Services Department, which includes personal sentiments from family and colleagues, as well as highlights from President De La Torre's listening tour during her first 10 months as president. Since President De La Torre arrived at San Diego State University, she has articulated a vision of SDSU preparing compassionate leaders, ethical innovators, and global citizens. As the chairman of the search committee, we were all blown away by Adela. She stood out not just on paper, but in person. And what stood out for our board was the vision that she had for San Diego State University. It is now my honor and privilege to introduce the ninth president of San Diego State University, Dr. Adela De La Torre. For over 30 years, Dr. Adela De La Torre has served at institutions of higher learning, driven by her unwavering commitment to education, family, and hard work. These core values she brings to San Diego State University are rooted in her distinctly Californian story. I grew up in Berkeley. It was a working class neighborhood. We had folks from all over. It was a wonderful community because we always had the mix of languages. So I think I was really fortunate because I always was exposed to a large degree of diversity early on as a child in the neighborhood. My mother was a, a single parent. My grandmother raised us. We didn't have a lot of things, but family was always important to me and it was always kind of the center of my life. And I have a wonderful husband, Steve, who has been such an amazing supporter. Adelita and Gabby and my grandson, Javi, have really played, I think, a special role in making me a better person in so many ways. Growing up, my mom was an incredible role model. I saw that she was really able to work with much more diverse communities and bring so many people together. And those are core values that I want to like continue to instill in my own family. She's always had this insatiable thirst, this curiosity that drives her to do anything she can do at her fullest. I get to see her in the morning at the gym, not all made up, not all presidential per se. I kind of learned a lot about her being in those moments because she's always on the spinning machine and so it helped me to understand like where her endurance comes from because she spins on that thing for about an hour, like non-stop. What struck me about um, Adele's leadership style is the inclusiveness and the approachability. She is sincerely interested in getting feedback and input before she makes critical decisions, whether it has to do with facilities or it has to do with professional development. <laughs> I really like the small settings where I can invite students up to the residence, have hot chocolate and cookies, and just listen to what concerns are, what they like about the institution, what needs to be changed. So from day one, um, you could recognize Adela's heart. She really does put students first. She doesn't just say that. And you can see it in the way she acts, the way she moves, the way she talks. It's always about the students first. I think it's important from um, what I've experienced to really listen and to relish the opportunity to learn about the history and the culture and the beauty of a place. As San Diego State University moves into its next chapter, President De La Torre looks to embrace the challenges and opportunities of expanding the university's influence in San Diego and the border region. The U.S.-Mexico border where we are situated is probably one of the most active borders in terms of commerce and trade. A university like San Diego State can play a critical role. We also have another very significant campus, that's the Imperial Valley campus. When Adela came down to the Imperial Valley, she just brought a wonderful atmosphere with her. Faculty, staff, and even students met with her. She's really taking into consideration the Imperial Valley, and I feel there's going to be a lot of positive changes in our campus. As we introduce some new bachelor's programs, as we create greater partnerships with our binational universities, we're really going to have some, some great capacity to really be not only an economic engine, but also a model for the world. The more we can bridge those conversations, the more we can get this valuable input, particularly right now, while we're launching Mission Valley. It's going to be a transformative opportunity 
that 15 to 20 years is going to be looked at as a historical moment for the city, for the community, and for the county. And we have a once in a lifetime opportunity to transform the institution in such a meaningful way. With a visionary leader focused on educating the future global citizens, ethical innovators, and compassionate leaders the world needs, this is just the beginning. President De La Torre, on behalf of the entire Board of Trustees, we would like to congratulate you on your selection and wish you all the best in your presidency. Congratulations, Adela. We're really proud of you, and we're really excited to see what you can accomplish throughout these years. Congratulations, Prez. I look forward to seeing you at the gym at 6 a.m. Congratulations on your new adventure as the president of San Diego State University. Congratulations, Mom. I'm so proud of you. Adela, congratulations. You've been an amazing influence, and I wish you nothing but the best of luck. Thank you. Congratulations, Adela. I think this inauguration is really the start of a long and lustrous career here at SDSU. President De La Torre, congratulations to you, but even more so, congratulations to San Diego State. We're so fortunate to have you here. It is now my honor to welcome and introduce our keynote speaker, Dr. Mildred Garcia, President of the American Association of State Colleges and Universities. As President, Dr. Garcia is an advocate for public higher education at the national level, working to influence federal policy and regulations. Dr. Garcia is the first Latina to lead one of the six presidentially based higher education associations in Washington, D.C. She was also appointed by President Obama to serve on several advisory boards, including the President's Advisory Commission on Educational Excellence for Hispanics, and by the U.S. Secretary of Education to serve on the Committee on Measures of Student Success. Prior to joining the AASCU, Dr. Garcia served as the President of CSU Fullerton and of CSU Dominguez Hills. A first-generation college student, Dr. Garcia earned a Doctor of Education degree and an MA in Higher Education Administration from Teachers College Columbia University, an MA in Business Education, Higher Education from New York University, a BS in Business Education from Baruch College, City University of New York, and an AAS from New York City Community College. It's also worth noting that she has been a role model for Dr. De La Torre for many years. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Garcia. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes, Chancellor White, Chair Day, members of the board, my presidential CSU colleague friends, San Diego State faculty, staff, students, and community, and of course, mi amiga. Presidenta de la de la Torre, her family and friends. Good afternoon. For me, this is an amazing honor to be invited to speak at the investiture of your new president, Presidenta Adela de la Torre. It is good to be back to my second home, the CSU. And of course, to stand on the grounds of this cutting edge university. I congratulate Chancellor White, the Board of Trustees, and this university for selecting the right leader, an academically strong and wise Latina to lead San Diego State. She is the right person for this institution at this particular point in the nation's history. And it's not only because of all of that. She symbolizes the future of this state and the nation and the kind of leader who is needed today in order to move this country, this state, into a brighter future. This The CSU, and especially San Diego State, 
are the institutions that must seize the mantle to demonstrate the greatness of what this country should become. You do this by the way you educate all students who enter your doors, conduct research that solves the pressing issues of our society, and become deeply engaged with the multiple diverse communities that you serve. As you come to know Adela and her academic background, her culture, her ways of thinking, you will recognize that she is a fearless leader who loves students first and foremost. She will advocate for you, open doors for you, and ensure that all of San Diego State and its communities reach their highest potential. La Presidenta Adela embraces all of who she is. And through her self-understanding, she recognizes that of who she is authentically, she must embrace everyone, regardless of title, who they are, how much money they have in the bank, what side of the border they come from, who they love, and who they pray for. She will be embracing them. Fitting is it that at this point in this nation's history, San Diego State has an inclusive, collaborative leader who not only listens and sees everyone she touches, you saw that in the video, she also listens to the silences, knowing that those who are silent and perceived as invisible are also part of this amazing institution, the amazing communities you serve, and the amazing nation that we are proud to live in. How very fortunate for this institution to have this dramatic, dynamic trailblazer at this vital time in the country's history. Throughout her leadership, I know that together, you will be shattering silences, breaking barriers, eliminating silos, building bridges, and providing hope for our state and nation. And as you know, we desperately need that now. She will lead this great university to be that beacon of hope for everyone, especially students, not afraid of moving towards greatness, demonstrating what is possible against all the negativity we hear every day. And together, she will help you shine and make obvious what can be achieved and serve as a role model for our universities across the country demonstrating that with all that's going on, you will continue to be the best university, graduating the new majority of students that will be the democratic citizens of this country, changing and adapting, honoring history, but changing and adapting to this rapidly ever-changing world. Hermana Adela, mil felicidades. We all know that she is up to this challenge. We know that at the American Association of, Higher Ed of Colleges and University, we are right there with you, celebrating with you, cheering you on. We that represent over 400 presidents in this country are by your side, and we will be following the greatness of what this institution will continue to become. We look forward to your sharing your accomplishments with all of our presidents, President President Adela, and to my CSU family and friends in San Diego State, how lucky are you? Celebrate today with her. Celebrate with her family and friends. Then get ready. 
get ready to work hard, work hard and working hard to reach even higher heights for our students, this state and our country. And while you work alongside Presidenta Adela, I guarantee you, you will reach heights unimaginable. Congratulations, mi hermana Adela. Felicidades. Thank you, Dr. Garcia. We appreciate you sharing such inspiring words with us today. Our next performance has special meaning to President De La Torre. As you will hear, the song Solamente Una Vez, or Only Once in a Lifetime, sparks many of her childhood memories. The song will be performed by music performance major Joseph Durant. and theater performance major, Laura Rivas Sandoval. They are again directed by Michael Gertis and accompanied by the SDSU Symphony Orchestra. Nada más se entrega al alma con la dulce total renunciación y cuando ese milagro realiza el prodigio. Amarse. Hay campanas de fiesta que cantan en el corazón.
That was magnificent. Thank you, Joseph and Laura. What a beautiful performance. And now the moment we've been waiting for. Dr. De La Torre brings to SDSU nearly 30 years of service and leadership roles within institutions of higher education. Prior to her appointment as president, she served as the Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs and Campus Diversity at UC Davis. Dr. De La Torre served as director for the UC Davis Center for Transnational Health for 14 years. As chair of the UC Davis Chicano Chicano Studies Department, as director of the Hispanic Center of Excellence in the College of Medicine at the University of Arizona, and as director of the Mexican American Studies and Research Center at the University of Arizona. It would take a long time to list her many accomplishments, but I want to take a moment to emphasize her illustrious trajectory as an educator. In 2002, during her tenure at Davis, Dr. De La Torre became the first Latina to receive the rank of distinguished professor. As explained earlier, an investiture is the formal ceremony that invests the authority of high office on an individual, in this case conferring the presidency of this university on Dr. De La Torre. The medallion to be, to be bestowed upon Dr. De La Torre was designed by undergraduate Rex Arthur Ramos, a senior studying applied design with an emphasis in metal smithing and jewelry. The nine waves represent the past and current nine presidents of San Diego State University, each bringing a new wave of leadership. The circular shape of the medallion symbolizes a globe, while iconic Hepner Hall encompasses the shape, reinforcing SDSU's global influence. SDSU is depicted at the very center of this globe on an abstract map of the local region. The inclusion of the border represents a university with many different cultures. The feathers are a tribute to the many local indigenous peoples. And the coastline signifies the nature that surrounds SDSU. The contemporary look of this medallion reflects a vision for the future for SDSU guided by President De La Torre. Here to confer the honor on Dr. De La Torre, is Dr. Timothy White and the chairman of the California State University Board of Trustees and an SDSU alum, Mr. Adam Day. Thank you, Pro Professor Malios, and thank you for a great job as Master of Ceremonies. Uh, good afternoon to all of you, and thank you for taking part in this important and momentous occasion. On a personal note, as a proud SDSU alumnus with deep connections to this campus, its faculty, staff, and students, it gives me great personal pride to serve as chairman of the CSU Board of Trustees and as chairman of the SDSU Presidential Search Committee at this particular moment in time. There is perhaps no more important function for our board than the selection of a campus president. And I can assure you, my colleagues who join me here today and the, and the others take this responsibility seriously. Working closely with our campus counterparts to carefully craft job descriptions for each campus to suit their specific needs. We review dozens, if not hundreds, of highly qualified candidates from around the globe. We search for truly inspirational and accomplished leaders to represent the California State University in the best light possible in all that we do. It is often said that as we search for a campus president with all of the multiple talents that we desire, we are searching for a superwoman or man. Well, just like her new colleagues on the Council of Presidents, 52% of whom are women, we have found the next superwoman for, for SDSU. On behalf of all of my colleagues, I would like to congratulate President De La Torre on her unanimous selection as the ninth leader of this proud and accomplished institution. We wish her all the best as she embarks on the journey of honoring and respecting past accomplishments and successes, 
while at the same time creating her collaboratively developed campus vision and plans to tackle new challenges and achieve new great heights. We are thankful for the warm embrace she has received from the broader San Diego community and are highly confident in her success. Congratulations, Adela. It is now my honor to introduce our fearless chancellor. Dr. Timothy White is the seventh chancellor of the California State University. Before taking office in December of 2012, he served as the chancellor of the University of California, Riverside. The first to attend college in his family, Chancellor White attended all branches of the California public higher education system, our community colleges, the California State University, and the University of California. Chancellor White will begin the official investiture of President De La Torre, and please join me in welcoming Chancellor White. Do what chancellors do, screw things up. <laughs> Good afternoon. It's great to be back on the campus of San Diego State University in this fantastic venue, home to so many Aztec basketball triumphs and, of course, the show. Wait a minute. Now, the show is supposed to be enthusiastic. Of course, the show. The infamous student support sections, and today, we have a better show, and that is the investiture of President Adela De La Torre. It is somewhat ironic that I just referred to her by her title, because she rarely uses it. She much prefers Adela. And that, quite frankly, is more than a reflection of her humility. This is intentional. Adela does not want to title her title to create a barrier to anyone, to prevent anyone, a student, a faculty member, a community leader, from stopping her on campus or in the community, or knocking on her door with an idea, a suggestion, or sh simply to share their story. It's her leadership style and one of her many great gifts, listening to others' stories, having authentic conversations, and then developing and working collaboratively towards a shared vision, Adela. It's a name she shared with her grandmother, who once took her as a young girl to the campus of UC Berkeley, telling her, this is where you're going to study. Her grandmother may have undersold this point a little bit, considering Adela went on to her bachelor's, master's, and doctorate from Cal. The name now spans three generations. Adela gave the name to her oldest daughter, as you know, born the year that her grandmother, the original namesake, passed away. Family, community, purpose, encouragement, an appreciation of the past and a clear vision for a bright future. It's all in Adela de la Torre's DNA, and it will inform her leadership of this great university as it has since her appointment last year. A great university indeed. San Diego State is one of the nation's most diverse institutions and a leader in closing, in closing equity gaps in underserved students. Research and innovation and the highly skilled workforce developed here have helped make San Diego one of the nation's, if not the world's, centers for telecommunications, biotechnology, and defense. The institution has long enjoyed the support from the local community from the 1928 vote that authorized the campus here on the Mesa to the recent approval of the truly visionary Mission Valley expansion that's in the works. These are just a few examples, I agree. These are just a few examples of what is remarkable and undeniable momentum. I can think of no leader better suited to build upon this momentum than Adela De La Torre. Her intelligence, her compassion, her willingness to listen, her unique ability to inspire a shared vision for a brighter future for all who comprise this diverse campus community and beyond. Make Adela the right leader for San Diego State University. And now, the serious part of the show. Adela, 
if you forgive me from using your formal title, I'd like to have you and Chairman Day join me at the podium. And you can be enthusiastic when this part's done, just so you know. <laughs> by the authority granted to me by the trustees of the California State University, I hereby invest you, Adela De La Torre, with the office of president of San Diego State University with all the honors, privileges, and most importantly, the authority, responsibilities, and accountability pertaining thereto. Ladies and gentlemen, President Adela De La Torre. Bienvenidos. Welcome. Solamente una vez hay en la vida. Only once in a lifetime is a song my grandmother taught me as a little girl. I've carried it within me all my life as a reminder of my grandmother. But now is a reminder that there's only one time in our life to do something truly remarkable, to do something that has never been done before, to be part of something so meaningful that it can transform the world. I'm deeply moved by the beautiful rendition by our students, not just because of the personal meaning it carries for me, but because it symbolizes a bridge that connects the value of my youth, which prepared me for this moment, and the values of this great institution, which brought us to this moment. And so I stand before you, humbled by our legacies that now connect. First, let me acknowledge the 122-year legacy of this magnificent institution and the confidence that you bestow on me to lead our next chapter of distinction. I am mindful that I inherit a landscape that has been cultivated not just by eight presidents before me, but also by faithful, thousands of faithful hands, chancellors, trustees, faculty, staff, alumni, students, and visionary partners. I'm also moved by the care and respect that the Kumayai Nation took in their stewardship of this land, land where we stand today. <laughs> to all of you who represent these critical roles and foundational values, I thank you and I applaud you. I know I stand here as the first woman to serve as permanent president to lead this university, but I recognize that I stand on the shoulders of women who have shaped the identity of SDSU from the very beginning. In the earliest days at San Diego Normal School, women formed the majority of the student population. Through the years, women stepped forward to create new areas of study, including the nation's first women's study program. <laughs> From day one, women have led colleges, produced groundbreaking research, and developed the minds of the future. To all the women who paved the way and continue to do so, I tip my hat to you, and I applaud you.
Our 122 year harvest is a class of more than 400,000 diverse alums impacting San Diego and the world. Look around, our graduates are the powerhouse artists, entrepreneurs, teachers, scientists, inventors, and elected officials, making a difference today in unique ways. But because they understand our geography and that we stand at the crossroads of a profound national narrative, they have become the visionaries who are pushing the boundaries of innovation. They are the trailblazers who are breaking barriers, building bridges, and crossing borders every day. Yes, proud Aztecs we are, but we must not be complacent, for we have more barriers to break, more bridges to build, and more borders to cross. We must remember that complacency does not propel curious and hungry minds. Complacency does not break barriers. Complacency will not get us where we need to go. We have critical work to do. We need to prepare the global citizens, compassionate leaders, and ethical innovators of the future. But to succeed, we must cultivate a culture of curiosity, courage, and compassion where they can, for our students so they can strive. Together, we will do this important work. First, we must remember that curiosity and courage have, have always been the energy that propelled us forward to challenge ideas, to move past failure, and explore new frontiers. Curiosity is the art of asking, what if? Think about it. As people on the border, we are positioned to be curious. We straddle two nations, yet in some dimensions, we can blend into one. Our curiosity transcends boundaries to advance knowledge and expand human potential. It was the curiosity of our faculty that uncovered the molecular basis for how black widow spiders produce their intricate webs, a substance tougher than the material in bulletproof vests. The knowledge has unlimited applications. It was the curiosity of our faculty that gave us birth to Arts Alive to expand discovery and meaning for every member of our campus. Whether in the whimsical surprise of the brightly colored benches on campus or the collaboration of over 200 students performing Les Mis, or rigorous courses that blend dance and physics or design and biology, our entire campus is a living lab laboratory for creative innovation that transcends borders and silos. Fostering and celebrating curiosity and courage is part of our DNA, and we must continue to do so. But as we move forward into the future, we must be vigilant, because curiosity and courage alone are not enough to create the leadership of the future. That's why we need compassion, too. We can draw inspiration from our visionary alumni and donors who invested our students in our students for decades. Driven by a deep sense of curiosity, courage, and compassion, they've donated hundreds of millions towards programs, state-of-the-art facilities, and scholarships that have yielded unprecedented success for our diverse students. Together, we will soar to new heights, training the university this community so richly deserves. And we have proof we can do this. Across our colleges, Faculty are fueling greater student curiosity and learning by using virtual and augmented reality to give them more nuanced understanding into complex science. Faculty are also creating living laboratories in our transborder region to engage our students in community-based service learning and research projects. But here's what really excites me. Our students do not wait until graduation to make an impact on society. As part of their SDSU experience, they are solving tangible issues like hunger, homelessness, and global warming. Our faculty, staff, and students are uncovering ways to address health disparities. They're devising solutions to combat multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. 
They are establishing new standards of decency and government accountability in the treatment of refugees, just to name a few. SDSU, driven by curiosity, compassion, and courage, is also demonstrating that we can amplify our impact around the world. Last September, I traveled to SDSU's campus in the country of Georgia. Since 2014, SDSU has played a pivotal role in helping introduce STEM education and standards that are transforming higher education in Georgia. By 2024, SDL, SDSU will have transformed the Georgian workforce that will propel the economic growth of the region. SDSU is continued to promote educational diplomacy, reduce social inequities, and fuel economic growth through existing and new transnational partnerships. And that makes this economist educator very, very excited. Our vision for global impact will start in our own backyard. You've heard that we will soon break ground in Mission Valley. Together, as partners, as leaders, as students, we will build a state-of-the-art innovation district that will expand our capacity to serve thousands of students and advance groundbreaking, groundbreaking creative research. The neighborhood will provide accessible housing with a river park and a stadium complex all within an environmentally sustainable community, a place for all San Diegans. We're not stopping there. SDSU Imperial Valley will continue to capitalize on its untapped potential. The campus sits in a rich agricultural region and is an epicenter of renewable energy sources and a focal point on border issues and binational university partnerships. Here at SDSU, we will continue to address current challenges, seize creative solutions, and uncover new opportunities to generate more revenue. Together, we must push innovation boundaries like never before. How will we do it? I recently had a fascinating chat with an SDSU alum, Jordan Evans. Now, Jordan led the NASA team that landed the rover, uh, the rover on Mars in 2012 after of dozens of failed attempts. Jordan said, you have to set the bar really high and expect that you're going to fail along the way and also recognize that in these failures, that occur, that's when the deep learning occurs. We must remember this lesson as we move forward, because as every leader knows, what got us here won't get us where we want to go. We will face criticism. We will disagree. We'll fail along the way. But if we value the diverse curiosity everyone brings to the table, if we communicate with empathy and compassion, and if we have the courage to lift each other up when we fall, we will succeed. And that brings me to a final but vital topic as we start our new chapter together. I want to talk about you, but not just you, the student, or the faculty, or the staff member, or the community member. I want to talk to you, the son, the daughter, the father, the mother, the dreamer, with the personal dreams yet to achieve and obstacles yet to overcome. I want you to know that when we talk about a lofty vision for the future, I see you. Over the last 10 months, I've talked to hundreds of people during my listening tour. The number one question I get is, can you share your path to the presidency? I've sensed that behind the question is a desire to know how to break barriers and to shatter glass ceilings. Somewhat apprehensive at first, I've come to realize that apart from being an economist, a professor, and now a president, I've also become a role model. Not just for those who look like me, 
but also those who have not always received the benefits of a culture imbued with curiosity, courage, and compassion we aspire to foster here. To them and to you, te doy mis consejos de corazón. I give you my heartfelt advice. The essential puzzle pieces to achieve and maintain personal and professional success. First, be proud of who you are and the roots that make you strong. I'm the product of the rhythms of my daily life, gifted to me by the values I inherited from my mother and my grandmother. As a child, I saw my single mother, Edminia, start her day at the crack of dawn in order to take two buses to climb her hill and to change the lives of students as a teacher. From her, I learned to value education, hard work, and deep family love. I saw my abuela Adela with her mocajete, grinding fresh ingredients with, for salsa and always with her comal to make the best tortillas. I saw her pray to her virgencita, caressing each rosary bead with her arthritic hands. She showed me that with faith, we could always do more. And I saw her stretch a meal to feed neighbors, cousins, aunts, uncles, comadres, compadres, anyone who needed help. From her, I learned the power of faith, the power of love, and the power of compassion through the simple act of breaking bread with family and friends during good times and during difficult times. Because everyone knows, con panza llena, corazón contento. Full stomach, happy heart. Where we come from matters. Where you come from matters. I learned who I was and how to value curiosity, courage, and compassion decades before I earned a PhD, before I earned tenure, and before I became president. It would be a disservice to this university if I did not bring all of who I am to my daily work. I hope that you feel the same way about the tremendous value you bring to our vision. Finally, honor the people who got you here. Thank the people who help you succeed and surround yourself with the people who will keep you grounded. We all know that no one succeeds alone. It takes mentors and the sacrifice of many to achieve great heights. But if history and recent headlines can teach us anything, it is this, the fastest way down is when we forget to be humble, to be grateful, and to be true to the person who we always wanted to become. My hope is that you will always honor, thank, and cherish these important people in your life. As for me, to the mentors and advocates who helped me get here today, Chancellor Tim White, Chair Adam Day, and my mentors, friends, and family members who are joining me today. I thank you and honor you for the confidence that you've placed in me. To each of you who daily ensure this presidency succeeds, alumni, advisors, donors, faculty, staff, students, and members of my team, I thank you for I could not do this job without you. And to each of you who keep me grounded, my husband Steve, my love of my life, who never lets me forget there's life beyond being president, <laughs> my daughters Adela and Gabriela, who provide the pure source of meaning in my life, my grandson Javier, who reminds me, Vuela, that the center of the universe is not SDSU, but the Model Railroad Museum at Balboa Park. <laughs> and to my future granddaughter, who brings me new hope. I cherish you today, tomorrow, and always. And to my mom, who I know at 96 is watching her on her iPad, 
Te amo con todo mi corazón, mami. Friends, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you for standing with me, with us, with SDSU today. This is just the beginning of a great future. Let's gift the world, the global citizens, and the compassionate leaders, and the ethical and innovators that will transform the world. But as my abuela Adela taught me, solamente una vez hay en la vida. There is only one time in our life. Solamente una vez to do something like what we will do at SDSU. This is my time. This is your time. This is our time. Mil gracias. Thank you, President De La Torre. Thank you, fully invested President De La Torre. For our closing performance, the SDSU Symphony Orchestra and our musical theater students will present This Is Me from The Greatest Showmen, directed by Robert Meff from the School of Theater, Television, and Film. Thank you again to all of the students in music and dance, theater, television, and film, and art and design who helped make this ceremony so very special. You've enriched this experience just as the arts enrich our lives every day. 
The arts are alive and thriving at SDSU. We are about to conclude our program, but before we do, a few brief notes. President De La Torre invites all of you to a campus and community reception in front of Hepner Hall on Campanile Walkway. You will be greeted by the SDSU marching band and our cheer and dance teams, as well as by music by Tavo and Mariachi 3.0. This, yeah. Oh, oh, it gets better. This local group features SDSU alum Tavo Alcocer and celebrates the diversity of popular border music through an eclectic mix of genres including Mexican folk, Tex-Mex, Latin rock, and reggae cumbia. Oh, just wait. The reception will also feature 22 internationally themed desserts that were submitted for consideration by our students. You better walk there and get your steps in. It's a 22 dessert day. We asked our students to share their favorite desserts from around the world to showcase the cultures of our diverse student body. At present, more than 2,600 international students from over 90 countries study at SDSU. In addition, more than 3,000 SDSU students study abroad each year. We hope you enjoy these special desserts. This concludes our celebration of San Diego State University's new president. The platform party will now recess to Arturo Marquez's joyful and spirited Congo del Fuego. Thank you all for joining us and cherishing this great university. In the words of President De La Torre, this is our time. Thank you all.